Welcome back awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. Another special review today. I reviewed the chapel, the jungle chapel, the HETT 600K the other day. Now it's the stealth chapel. Now I'm very lucky to review this early because it's not on release yet. So I want to thank B25 for that. This is another version of chapel. There are some differences. We'll look at those in a moment. Okay, let me open the box and get this out. Now I have open this and done some prep work before the review to make it part of the setup because there's quite a bit of setup time required with the chapels and the setup time is to do with the barricade which I've already set up the Constantina barricade and I've set that up here and I'll attach that to the chapel in a moment okay so let's get this open and let's have a look Okay, so we have the man, looking good, oh yeah, this looks lovely, this stealth chapel already, I prefer this colour skin to the jungle one, already this looks really nice, really, really nice, let's just have him standing up there keeping guard while giving stuff out, now we have the rear tracks and the front tracks, now if you saw my video on the jungle tr uh, chapel, it is a bit tricky getting these at first trying to work out how you will see here there are some tabs and inside there are some can you see that yeah some gaps the tabs go into the gaps so you need to fold it round okay this one just goes in the back i found it easier to put this in first and it will fold round to this position here and slot in but it's easier to put it in this way and then slot it in so Is that the right way? Or this way? There you go. Okay. So that's quite easy to get into place. Now it's trying to get these things to slot into the tabs, which is a little bit more difficult. Okay. That's in. Very easy. This is a bit tough to put in. This was longer, slightly easier, but it goes into the back one there and goes in forwards. And uh, not quite there. There we go. Okay, that is in like thus. Though I think I've got that at a slight angle, so I will look at that in a in a minute. In fact, I know why. Because I should be, it should be in this one, sorry. should be in that one going backwards, that's why. My mistake there. Okay, now that's flat. Okay, so before I put the uh, doors on the back, let's have a quick look at this. So, you can take the front off, sorry, forwards, not off. The doors open side to side. And there's also a little barrier on there. If you want, you can see inside there. Uh, also, the sides come down. These also attach to those doors, so they can stay up in the base mode with the barrier up as well, like this. Okay, in the video I did of the chapel, I was wondering what this little thing is for here. It's actually an armrest. <laughs> so that's how much detail, how many details I think they even put an armrest in, a move armrest for the figures. I've just noticed a clip behind the seat that you can just about see there, where you can attach weapons and so forth. And there's a little door that opens in the back, and the turret um, has some movement, and it opens at the hatch there. I didn't actually realize the movement on the jungle chapel when I looked at it the other day. So that's something else I've spotted, which is nice. Okay, so let me close this back up, and then we'll look at attaching the Constantina doors, putting the guns in, look at the accessories, and we'll compare this to some of the other stealth stuff as well. So, close these first of all, make sure the doors are in place. Okay, there's a tab on the front here, and there's a slot here. 
and that matches up. It might take a bit of doing, but when it's in, it's nice and tight. Now, the Constantina doors attach to this, but I found in the jungle, this space here, you need to move it up. So you need to move this upwards, which is a bit tight. So the barrier is flush with the top. So I'll move both these up first. Now the nice thing is, with these, because they have the legs which are on a pivot, you can come up, make it higher. You could push these down so the barricade is slightly lower again if you want. So this is a nice feature here as well. And even this will can come as a little support for the back. Okay, maybe for rough terrain it needs to do that. It takes a bit of practice, but once you get used to it, it's actually quite easy to put it back into this mode. Okay, so you want to have the logo facing outwards. On the instructions, it's quite clear, so if you follow those, you should have no problem. Putting this in should be okay, and that is in. Okay, once that's in, I can just Constantina it, and it will fit together with a little click. He says, okay, that one's not quite in the right position, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, now, you can see some little tabs here. Maybe you can see them. There we go. There and there. They will fit into the holes on top. So when you actually close it, it will stay shut. Like thus. Okay. Let me attach the other side. One attaches to this, to the main door. One attaches to a sliding part. Okay, so it does actually constantine out to longer than it was. In fact, let me measure that and see how much we're actually gaining. That would be quite interesting. So if it's just normal, like this, into the ruler here, this is 19 centimeters or seven and a half inches. And if I Constantina out all the way, I've now gone from 19 centimeters to 27 centimeters, seven, seven and a half inches to 10 and three quarter. So you're actually gaining quite a bit of uh, distance on that, of uh, barricade usability on that. Okay, so this one must stay out to attach. I find it easier to attach via the notch into the hole first but you may find a better or different way. Should I just get that right? Oh, struggling with this side now. Let's do that again, okay, and... And my cat is ringing his bell in the background, as he does. Okay, that's in and I've knocked this side off. Let me just reattach this side first of all. And then we're good to go. Oops. Wrong way. Okay. Okay, we're all in. So I can again Constantina up that and slide it back. It's a really nice, simple, nice system they've done. Very well engineered for the, especially for this scale, this small 2.5 inch, 128 inch scale. And then once that's in, I can swing it around and it will close on those notches on the top I showed on the other side a moment ago. This one's a bit more tricky on the... Okay, now that's sealed. Okay, that is really nice. Now, uh, something you should notice, just give me a second to grab one of my stealth speeders and men. I should have already prepped this before the video 
One thing you may notice is if you look on the pilot, there are two dots. Those are not eyes, there are two dots on the helmet. On the top, it says chapel, there are two dots. If we look at the speeder, there are three dots. On the pilot, there are three dots. If we look on the stealth stronghold, there are five dots. And on the pilot's helmet, there are five dots. So we've got so far two, three, and five. We're missing one and four. So maybe there'll be some other stealth releases in the future which will have those additions on, maybe six or more. Who knows? Okay, so let me just undo this again. So we have the stealth stronghold or whatever else. I'll leave that side there for now. It can be a barrier protecting the stronghold. The stronghold can be towed by the hook, as seen in other videos. Okay, and if you're not you haven't seen this before, the actual speeders can attach to the strongholds for transportation too. So you get a good range of protection. You can actually wrap around and protect the whole thing. You may be able to do two strongholds. I do have another stealth stronghold, but it's in mech mode at the moment. So yeah, you could almost get two strongholds completely covered with this. Okay. So it's pretty damn good and I'll I'm just amazed at the, I marveled at the engineering of it. Let's just move this into camera a bit more so you can see. That does look really, really nice. Okay, so it does come some accessories. We'll come back to the strongholds later. Um, there were accessory packs with, accessory packs, sorry, with the jungle stronghold too. And this one, I believe, has some differences. Now, what's really nice, as I said to the uh, review the jungle stronghold it includes big weapons for the strongholds because th this is nice spe uh, specifically for stealth because the stealth team strongholds don't come with weapons just hands as you can see here but now we're getting a great big bloody knife which they can hold and also you see there's an attachment a peg there that can pin the knife or peg the knife to the sides of their arms or their legs and you get this nice gun here, which comes with ammo pack, and ammo pack has the uh, peg, slots in. He's now got this gun to hold, and he can also attach it, okay? And you can do it either way around, so he's got a peg showing on the outside, it can be on the inside. So let me just put these in his hand a second. So it's really good that they've included uh, weapons now, particularly for the stealth team. Okay, now he's got his gun and he's got a knife attached to his side he can take off if need be. So that's really, really nice. Um, right, so here we have the gun, the main gun that goes in the top here, which I just found out a moment ago, that actually does have a range of motion. It does rotate. Okay, so it does rotate and it appears to be all the way around, which I didn't know before. That is awesome. So if I just open that briefly. Now it's a bit difficult to open it when you've got the gun in place. Okay, I can pop the man in. He will fit down, he can hold onto the gun and you can rotate around with him in it, which is a nice touch. Okay, so other things we get, we get the connectors, so, oops, so I could take off the Stronghold's arms or the tracks and I connect connect these into like some of the holes in the sides, connect arms and so forth. Uh, we get the minigun, which we didn't get in the Jungle Stronghold. The Jungle Stronghold, we've got the RPG two assault rifles different to the jungle stronghold these are the standard ones the jungle stronghold had one which is more like a hunting or sniper rifle and one which like an m16 a little bit m16 sorry and two pistols now these are great as well because the stealth team in the stronghold and the speeder didn't come with weapons either so now your guys here can have 
weapons, you can equip them up. And then you've got these for putting in backs of troops for weapons and whatnot. And these two can go inside, attach, you can then put things inside. So what I did with the jungle stronghold is that there are, you can see here, there's a hole there which this can go into and you can attach things from there. So if I'm right, he says, there you go. So I could put pistols in there. I could attach the assault rifles in there as well, you know, whether it's uh, two at a time, one at a time, whatnot, I can attach them. Even the minigun you can attach and so I'll hold it in place. So that's a nice feature too. So I'll just put these in now since we are here. Again, I must say, these are such well thought out and made set quality plastic. Okay, so the other thing I want to talk about is the actual minifigures is their joints. So the stealth team ones that came out initially, uh, they were the first release from B25. And when I reviewed them initially, I said, and I'm sure other reviewers said that the joints are a little bit loose, especially the ankles on these figures. So this is an original figure. Joints a bit loose and the ankles came off really easily. Okay, and the head really easily too. But they were really cute and I liked it and I'm glad I stuck the line because it is awesome. Now we have the new release. We can see that the colours are the same. His ankles <laughs> much much tighter. Really good job and the head a little bit tighter too so B25 have obviously taken the feedback that people have given and they've improved it which is a sign of a great company they've done a really really good job on these okay so this is the stealth chapel another difference from the jungle chapel I just move these out of the way is not just the colouring on the chapel itself but the Constantina barricade section I'll compare this in a moment. If you have a look, let me just close this up again. Has this nice sort of metallic colouring, which you can see here, 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 etc which you don't have on the Jungle Chapel. Jungle Chapel is all uh, dark grey and this is black and I prefer the black look. So let me put these back in and I'll get both the chapels together and we can have a nice side to side comparison. Maybe for the Jungle one because it's more camouflage. You know, that's entirely up to you. I like the colour scheme on these stealth ones. I think it looks cooler, if not more, re if not realistic, it is cooler. Put that side in. And that side in. So here's the jungle one. Great looking uh, vehicles. So if you look on here we have the six, that's for the K6 jungle team. On the side it says K6 on both sides. Top is just the emblem it's got some paint effect weathering you can see there. Stealth one, there is no weathering I can see, but it's a much darker colour anyway. I'm sure there are features on this I've yet to work out. And I'm seeing something here, and I'm not sure what that is yet, but I'll see in a moment. Maybe I can work out while we're on camera. Okay, that is definitely... Aha! You learn something new every day. So here is something new, which I didn't see on the jungle one as well. You have legs to support it when it comes down. That is an awesome feature. So now you get full-on base mode with supporting legs. Now underneath the legs you have 
more holes for attaching arms and whatnot. Again, that is so cleverly done. That is awesome. Another nice thing is you look inside, you can see the handles for the pilot to operate. And I've done that already with the um, jungle one here. So I'll give you a look. The pilot is holding the control handles in there. So B25, you impress me again with that nice little feature there. I just noticed the metal joints and I thought that must be movable. And that's another feature, that's awesome. So you get this full on base mode here. You can have the protection up for the pilot. Can, can come down if you want to see out or whatnot. But now you get a nice sort of headquarters mode. You can even take out your Constantina parts and they will wrap around and protect as well. If you want to do, if you want to do that way, it's an up to you. Okay, so it's not just forwards, they can go, they can go all, sorry, backwards, they can go all the way forwards around and protect your chapel from the front attack as well. Uh, awesome toy again another feature I found maybe there's some more I haven't found yet if you've got yours and you find some features then please let me know in the comment section because you know I really want to find out more about this, this is such a great toy there are foot pegs inside so you can put your men on securely they've got the holes in their feet it's a again I keep saying it, it's a really well engineered and thought out toy definitely worth investing in this will be a show exclusive but don't get this hearted you will be able to buy it online from their store b25shop.com um, later in the year and it is worth getting the color scheme is great the features are great those little legs coming down as well just another feature i found awesome this is awesome Magic toys signing out saying please like share and subscribe i'll be back with more videos in the future keep collecting and stay happy Okay, bye-bye.